This is a little exercise designed to increase emotional level um, when you're working on the short lines. Now the advantage of the short lines is that you're nice and close to the horse and you can release the rein really well, much better than you can when you're actually using the long reins. So here I've got Jazz and I was long reining him and I just thought he was being a little bit blur, he wasn't really in the engagement zone and so I wanted to lift his emotional level without getting on his back. Um, and so here with the short lines, I thought well, a good thing to do would be to do uh, trot halt transitions <laughs> with threw in a bit of canter at the end there. So I've slowed it down for you so you can really see what I'm doing. And you can see Jazz, you know, he is nicely round, he's soft in the bridle, and he's really listening to me now, which I didn't feel he was before. The other advantage right here with this halt, you can see he halted quite square then. Sometimes he's been halting and moving his hind quarter out to the right. And so I've got the uh, right rein there and I can move his hind quarter if I need to to straighten him up. And that's much easier to do on these short lines. The short reining is a great step from long reining to riding. It, you're that much closer to the horse, it's that much easier to raise his emotional level and you just have so much more control than you do on the on the long reins. Mostly because your give or your release is so much easier. So it's a great place to actually play with your horse's emotional level and raise and lower it. It's also a really good place to habituate your horse to the whip and a lot of horses don't like the whip. So you watch me here, I raise my emotional level by picking up the canter before Jazz does. And the, the best way really, or the fastest way to increase emotional level is always to increase speed. That's the easiest way to do it. So you might as well just increase the speed here a bit. And it makes it more difficult. So making the task more difficult by going halt to trot, trot to halt. Uh, is also a very good way of increasing the emotional level and engaging your horse with learning. So right now, he's in much better position to get on and ride rather than just sort of on the long reins. I felt he just shut down a little bit, wasn't really listening, wasn't really engaged. Now he is engaged, so he's much more with me. Now I feel he's ready to ride.